wait is the debt limit. Yeah. You've got to extend the debt limit by May. And it seems like you made it the job. Your job is a lot tougher because of your vote in the Senate against extending the debt limit. Up until January, you were defending it. But this week, your staff said it was a mistake. When did you realize that vote was a mistake? You know, I, I think that it's important to understand the vantage point of a senator versus the vantage point of a president. Uh, when you're a senator, traditionally what's happened is this is always a lousy vote. Nobody likes to uh, be tagged as having increased uh, the debt limit on, for the United States by a trillion dollars. As president, you start realizing, you know what, we, we can't play around with this stuff. Th this is the full faith and credit of the United States. Uh, and so that was just a, uh, a uh, example of a new senator uh, you know, making... Uh, what is a political vote, as opposed to doing what was uh, important for the country. And I'm the first one to acknowledge it. I thought the press board cuts. All right, I, I got to ask you, uh, we, we had this tape from 2006 of you on the Senate floor talking about the debt ceiling. I want you to take a listen to what you had to say back then. How can they explain that they think it's fair to force our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren to finance this debt through higher taxes? That's what it'll have to be. Why is it right to increase our nation's dependent on, dependence on foreign creditors? Democrats won't be making arguments to support this legislation, which will weaken our country. Weaken our country. So that was just a, a few years ago. The, the issue of the debt ceiling came up, and you voted against it. Democrats in lockstep voted against it. Why, why were you wrong then and right now? And what was that all about? I said on Meet the Press when this question was asked. I shouldn't have done that. It's, I'm kind of embarrassed I did. It was a political maneuver by we Democrats. Uh, the Republicans were in power. There were more of them. We said, you're going to have to pass that debt ceiling. Uh, the president voted when he was in the Senate the same way. I heard him apologize for it. We all should take a look at how we handle these issues. But that doesn't take into consideration the numerous times, numerous times I voted to increase the debt. One time I tried to make a political issue of it. I wish I hadn't. Uh, so, so you think that we're going to clear this hurdle? I mean, is this going to not we, happen this time? We have no choice. As the wall, people in Wall Street are saying, academics are saying, the International Monetary Fund, everybody in the world recognizes that this country, the greatest country in the history of the world, can't default on its debt. This is not money that we're borrowing to take care of the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq in the future or to take care of the obligations we have as a country in the future. It's to take care of the bills we've already run up, things we've already, uh, we, we, have, we have a credit card we have to pay.